name's Bridget, and I'm here to talk to you about the viola. So the viola is one of the four string instruments in the orchest orchestral string instrument families. It comes from the viola di braccio, which is um, an instrument from Italy, and it is just kind of an instrument like this that you would play up on your shoulder. Before that, there was the viola di gamba, which you played between the knees, and it kind of looked like a mini cello. But with the, the origins of kind of our modern instrument as we know it, ended up looking kind of like this. And so the parts of the instrument, pretty straightforward. We have a body, which is this big wood part. There's two holes on the top plate of the body, and we call those the F holes, and that's where the sound kind of comes out of most of the time. So when you're performing, you'll notice that most musicians will play with their F holes facing the audience, not this way. So then there is the chin rest or the jaw rest, which is where we place our jaw when we're playing. This little triangle down here is the tail piece, and it holds one end of our strings. This right here is our bridge, and it helps support the strings. Then this black board right here is called the fingerboard, and that's where we place our fingers as we play. Then up here we have the scroll, and you'll notice it kind of looks like a rolled up piece of paper or a snail sometimes, which is fun. And there's four tuning pegs to help us tune our strings. Then of course we have our four strings. On the back, this is called the neck, and this is where we support the instrument with our left hand, our back plate. Um, and then I use a sponge, but some people you'll see using a shoulder rest. But just usually there's something that we attach to the back of the instrument to help us help support the instrument. Some people will play without anything, and that's totally okay too. The other part of the instrument we have is the bow. Now the bow has, um, oh my goodness, <laughs> the bow has four, five kind of main parts. You have the tip, which is the tip of the bow. And then you have the frog, which is where we hold the bow with our right hand. Then you have horsehair, which is pulled nice and tight by tur um, turning a screw at the end to pull it um, nice and tight. And then we just have the stick of the bow or the back of the bow. So you can play the instrument either by not using the bow and just plucking. And you just use your finger to pull at the string. You could also play it guitar style sometimes, which is also kind of fun. Um, but then you also can play it with the bow. And when you use the bow, it just sounds like this, which is really great. Now, I love playing the viola. I've played it for a very long time now. And one of the main reasons that you should consider playing is because you get to play in a lot of cool ensembles. The main one being an orchestra, either a full orchestra with winds and brass or just a string orchestra, which is also very fun. You can also play in, I've played in jazz bands before and fiddle groups before, and that's a really good time. Um, another reason I love playing the viola is because it's got a beautiful low tone that is just adds so much warmth and color to the orchestra when you're playing with other people. And the other thing too, anybody that I've met that plays the viola is such a wonderful, nice person. And so joining the viola group of people will be a wonderful time for you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed learning about the viola and I hope one day you consider playing it. So if you'd like to hear a little fiddle piece, I've got something for that. Which is fun, or something more classical. Uh -huh.